This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk radio like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. How are you? Good evening and welcome. This is the uh, Ramble, and it goes until midnight tonight. And uh, I think you'll enjoy what you uh, see and hear. Uh, And uh, a little bit later, we'll go to our citizens panel. But right now, we have a guest in the studio this evening. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? The one and only. You're the one and only. It's Friday. It's Friday. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 It's Friday. It's Friday. Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 Yeah. Bet your bottom dollar. It's Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's my wife, Hi. Uh, whatever her name is. I can't remember now. I don't, I'm I'm going through Alzheimer's now, and I don't, early I don't Alzheimer's. Rem- do I know He's going you? Going through early Alzheimer's. Uh, Alzheimer's. <laughs> Alzheimer's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's something go. It, it's, oh, a- anyway, uh, a lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah. Like I'm feeling nauseous every night. Every but, uh, night before come, I go on. Here comes the health report. Every night before I go on, I'm feeling nauseous. Here we go. Isn't he nauseous? Go ahead. That's just Isn't number he? one. Huh? Uh, there's other things. We got this tooth that's been wiggling for the last nine and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. But anyway, you see, I, it's my guilt complex, but but I haven't gone to the dentist. So anyway. No, you've got dental about. insurance, and I highly recommend you use getting, it while we have it. I'm getting crazier and crazier as I get older and older. You're telling me? Well, you're not that much better either. You're nuts. Oh, really? Yeah, you're really nuts, lady. Mister? M- lady. <laughs> lady? <laughs> You're nuts, old man. Yeah, you, you're, you're crazy. out of your fucking mind. You're crazy. What? You're crazy. I don't know, here, this thing keeps uh, moving up. The volume keeps changing. Can I see myself? No, you can't see no. yourself. If, if you want to see yourself, watch the show on Monday. I do. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, uh, I'm trying to figure out what I, I have. I have certain volume problems that happen here, and I have no idea why. But be that as it may. Anyway. Let's let's go on with what we to said. current events. So first thing today that happened to me uh, is I uh, get a, a note from my business manager, the lovely and attractive Gary Haber, who says to me, uh, "This charge for five hundred and uh, I think thirty three dollars at uh, at Costco. Uh, what is that about? I think somebody's maybe." Stealing your credit card or whatever. So I can't remember for the life of me. <laughs> I remember there was a large amount, but it wasn't money that I was... It's something. I couldn't figure it out. So I call over to uh, Costco, and they say, I go they say, press one for administrative. And you call, and you press one, you wait for them forever. Nobody comes on the line. One time I did it. Somebody came on the line and said, hold on, please. And then I never... It kept ringing and ringing and ringing. So I figured, ah, it's just ten, ten minute trip down the street by cab. So, or I could walk it, but forget God that. God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> so I go over to Costco and I, I tell them my problem. I say, see, here's my bill and it's a charge here. And the thing was, I had I open up my wallet where I throw all these things. I had every one of my receipts from Costco except the one for April third. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it or why I don't have it. But I save them like, you know. But they, they would have it in the system. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right? So I went down there, and the woman said, oh, well, we'll just print pull, it out for pull you. up the receipt. And they had to go through a bunch of things because she didn't know how to do it from her terminal. But eventually she comes back, she's got my receipt. And it, it is my receipt, okay? And she says, it, it was the day also that you returned your Dyson vacuum cleaner. Ah, there you go. And, and what I did is I, I went down after three years and said, this my vacuum cleaner stopped working. They went here. Which it did. You want, do you want, and and I thought they gave me one of those little cards, you know, they give you that has money on them. And then you, as you're checking out, you give it to the person. But I, you have a choice of that or cash. 
So I just figured. Cash. Cash. Why not? So what I did is I paid for the vacuum cleaner and the groceries I bought at the same time, and that's why the 500 some odd dollars. Uh, but now I can't figure out what the fuck did I do with the $533 <laughs> that I got? Now, it was a great deal because I paid 350 for the new vacuum cleaner, but they gave me 533 because that's what I paid for the old vacuum wow. cleaner. Wow. So, I, I didn't know what I did with the money. Did I put it in a drawer somewhere? So I called my business manager, I tell him the whole story, and I said, now I gotta figure out where the money is. He says, oh, it's in the bank. I said, how do you know? He says, I saw that you made a deposit around that time mm -hmm. for $400 in cash. So there you go. So I actually stopped by on the way wherever and went to the uh, my uh, ATM, and I deposited the money in cash, but I had forgotten all about that. Uh huh. So I'm not out 500 some odd dollars. You're fine. Well, what I was worried about, I said, uh, to me the good news wasn't that I could find the money mm -hmm. somewhere, it was somewhere, right? But that I wouldn't have to call the credit card company and cancel the card. Because right. then you got to call everybody. And you always leave somebody oh, oh, or oh, a yeah. few people off. Yeah. You and all of a sudden, it's like, all of a sudden I'm getting bills when it should be automatic payment. Why are they submitting me well, bills? Well, I actually made a list in my computer of all the things that I have to, if I change the card, I have to go to and change. And it's not small. It's not insignificant. No, it's, it's, it's everything. You know, I mean, uh, this show is on the air tonight because I'm using the website. And, and that I pay for that every month with a credit card. Yeah. And, and I, I've it's got everything. the it's Daddy everything. and the, you know, credit it's, card. It's everything. Yeah. And the worst is when you get a, an email saying, I'm sorry, but we tried your card and it's unworkable. <laughs> Please send us money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, and so that, that was my little adventure today. There you go. And you got out of the house. Very good. Well, I get out of the house every day. No, you for don't. For some reason or no, another. Don't. Yes, I do. No, you yes, don't. Yes, I do. Today was not the day to get out of the house. Well, tell me about it. It was really raining. Oh, my God. I was going to go buy something today, and I couldn't even go buy it because of the weather, you know. So. It was rainy. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so now, uh, let me see here. I went on, what other thing happened today? Nah, that's about it. That's your highlight. That was my exciting day. That's the highlight of your day. Yeah. Um, and uh, our refrigerator that doesn't make ice anymore, so I'm pouring water in the ice maker from outside. Why don't you just get the replacement? No, I don't need a replacement. Well, obviously something's no, happening no, if you have it, to do it manually. Yeah, because there's no water going in there. It's making ice if it's I put clogged, water. It's clogged. It's clogged. Somewhere it isn't getting water. When we have the plumber come to fix our dryer, we'll get him to fix that. Well, but they don't, he's, believe me, he's, he's not coming up for that. That's a different thing. Oh. That's building stuff. And the building should pay for it, you know. The but refrigerator? The water, because there's something wrong with the water not going in there. We have terror. It's funny. In the sink in the bathroom, I can just blast water. In every sink, it. even the one in the guest, but in in the, the guest bathroom. But in the kitchen. It's, it's like just, a dribble. It's like a man with a prostate problem. It's like a dribble. Yeah. And, you know, you try to fill a big bowl of water, it takes forever. Now, you know you know what's funny? Uh, Shecky sent me something. He didn't send me something. He answered somebody's uh, Facebook post. And he mentioned Alex Bennett, so it wound up coming to my thing as well, okay? Um, the guy who was the warm-up guy at uh, the Letterman Show, I'm trying to remember his name now, uh, he posted that after seven months they finally have gas again and that he, uh, he, he, the smell of food cooking just was so seductive. And then he wrote, well, Alex Bennett has had the same problem for the last four months. Five months. Five months. Five now. months. And uh, we're going to uh, start going into our six month. And so he kind of commiserated back, you know. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. So I bet, it, you know, uh, I, and then Shecky wrote to him, I guess it's not that uncommon in New York City. Just a flip of the switch. But there's a fire in your basement. The uh, the guys come along and they just flip the switch off of the gas. Yeah, and to turn it back on because this is such an old building. There's a lot of things that weren't up to code. That now well, everything wasn't. Well, up but to they code. had to fix a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean they had to really redo all the gas in the building. 
So, you know, it was like it's hell, but the, this guy, you know, was. Uh, so it's, we'll be starting our sixth month in about a week. Really? Yeah, because it was the 11th of December. They told us it would be about three months. <laughs> that was a long time and we, ago. And we, and well, we're so used to cooking now with the Breville Grill. Well, I have to get two new plates now for it because we've used it so much. Well, there's stuff behind the thing in the um, no, pantry. No, no, one of them doesn't doesn't work. It doesn't click in. Itself, doesn't well, click throw in. it out because it, it appears like we have. Yeah, but I mean, both of those are used. So all right, so I, just throw them out instead I have to of spend a hundred bucks and get a couple more. But the thing is, we use the Breville grill, we use the hot plate, and I gave a friend of mine years ago my toaster oven, which also was a convection, convection. oven. Yeah. So I borrowed it back, and yeah. it's been very good. What well, we were able to make, like one of those big, huge uh, chicken pot pies that they sell at Costco, we were able to. And that. I bought a um, a slow cooker. A slow cooker. There's the pot, the crock pot. The crock pot. Yeah. yeah, but we haven't used that that well, much. Well, I've made three meals with it. I made, uh, what did I make? A horrible stew. No, I didn't make a horrible <laughs> stew. You know, I'm really, I re that re I'm really upset. I, it was not a horrible stew. In fact, it was uh, Hungarian goulash. <laughs> no, the second time I made beef burgundy. I made beef bourguignon. Okay, wait a minute. And it was terrific. It was terrific. You even said it was good. Yeah, I said but it was you, good. I didn't say it was no, terrific. You want to think you're the greatest fucking I cook in the world and nobody not. else can cook. I do not. I do not. I made a very good beef bourguignon. It was so tasty. The next day, the second day, things always taste better. It was yummy the next day. <laughs> Wait, but don't go, I'm crazy. You're good doing this thing with the crazy thing. <laughs> no, folks, really, I mean, that's what I object to. You just don't want to feel that the, your, your mate, your male mate... It's 10, 16. Yeah, and you got, you got a while to go kid, <laughs> with this one. Why don't we turn it on early? <laughs> but no, I, I was really uh, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, you, you, you just always put down whenever I try no, to no, cook something. Just your stews. I got to tell you. Your stews aren't your best thing. What you were good at... This was a good... Fucking stew! No, I'm it telling wasn't. You, the you, beef, were you were you excel? The were you excel? Bourguignon, the beef were you excel? The beef bourguignon is was your great. spare ribs, the, which you haven't made in a few years. I don't years. like my spare ribs. They're delicious. I don't like them. The beef bourguignon was terrific. No, it wasn't. I, no, no, wait a minute. No, anybody, if you any of you came over <laughs> to eat it, you would agree it tastes good. You just don't want to think that, a, that your husband true. can cook. I tell you when you make a good and you steak. Think, and you think you're a better cook than you really are. It's never disappointed me. Huh? You know, I, I mean, I, I could have, you know, I'm going to start complaining every time you make something. <laughs> I haven't made just anything so you see in a while. Feels. No, I've been doing most of the cooking in this house. Well, it's, we don't eat together. What? We don't eat together. We don't do that anymore, do we? <laughs> She stuff. goes, I had lunch, I'm full. She's an old lady. I had lunch, I'm full. Or I come home and say, I'm starving, I have to eat now. Yeah. And then you have something like cottage cheese and cheese whiz or something. No, I, I don't. don't. What do you have? Melon. Melon. Yeah. And meanwhile, I've got steaks and I've got things that she can eat and chicken and that stuff. I don't want to eat. I eat your chicken. I'm, did I make a nice salad the other day? No, that was a terrible salad. You loved it. It you was had, a horrible salad. You loved it. You had two helpings. You know I got the trots the next day from it? It's not from that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. It was a horrible salad. You okay. don't know how to make salads. That's your problem. Go go you, feed yourself. You've never made a good salad. You're on your own. Hey, listen. I can feed myself. You're okay? on, your, you're on can, your own. I can feed myself. You're on your own. Please open up the no, lines. No, I'm not going to open up the lines because <laughs> I still have more to talk about. Well, go ahead. But we're not finished here with this. What else do you want to talk about? I am Trump? about ready. I'm fed up with Facebook because here, here's what happened. For, when Your I was shows work, are good when, on Facebook. When I was working at Sirius XM, uh, I got about 5,000 Facebook friends, and it's pretty much remained at 5,000 for the longest time. The thing is, there's a thing about following too. And I only had about 1,200 people following me, but now it's up to 1,700 since we started the Facebook. video stuff. Yeah. yeah, I think it's great. But here's what happens with the, with the 5,000 friends. Every time I lose one, there's always somebody there that wants to, you know. And they're all hookers. Join in on the fun. Well, no, the latest thing I've noticed is the minute I go to 4999, 4999, 
But you announce it. No, I don't. I don't announce it at all on the show. Uh, it goes, all of a sudden, I get like four people who want to be friends. And I'm going, whoop de do, you know, this is great. And I go to it. And all of a sudden, they notice. I go to their f- pages, and they're all fucking hookers. <laughs> they're all hookers. Maybe you they know? want free or advertising. Something, or something resembling a hooker. Maybe they don't want to think of themselves as hookers, <laughs> but they're pretty much working in the same ballpark as a hooker. Okay? And uh, so now what I'm doing is every time one of them writes, I go to their little thing and, and I check them type out. them a message saying, stop bothering me, hooker. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, then I defriend them and I tell f- Facebook they're spam. I don't know. I, want, I, I don't know how that thing works. How do they know that uh, all of a sudden somebody doesn't have their full component of friends and it's time to pounce? They have a there must be they something. must have they must have a program or something, something yeah. that does that. Tell them when to hook in. Well, you know, it it, it just would seem to me that and, and Facebook cares about their people like for instance you know because people have been killing people on facebook and i think some have been trying to have sex on facebook they're live. scared there was one that they no. they hung a dog Did on they fa- really? it was terrible yeah well anyway so what they have done is they've hired three thousand people to monitor facebook live this Good. is just to monitor facebook live and i appreciate that they're going to that extent to protect it's not enough three thousand people well, wait a minute wait a minute let me, Worldwide? Fi- let me finish what I'm saying. Well, they also have machinery that kind of lets them know when it's happening. There are people to monitor it and so mm-hmm. on. Let me finish what I'm saying here. So you would think that they would know that these fucking hookers are like preying on everybody who has under 5,000 people. <laughs> because I'm sure it's not just me. I'm sure it's, it's all, if somebody's just got like 1,000 friends or 300 friends, they're getting like a whole bunch of people that want right. to be friends with You're them. right, you're right. You know, and in the beginning, I didn't know they were trolling for, for guys, but I gave, made a couple of them friends when I saw that they wanted to be friends, and I had some open slots. And then I get a, a message from them. A private message saying... And the private message, no, it, no, here's how it goes. And I immediately know, block them. Hi, Alex, how are you today? You know, it's something like that. Yeah, I you get know? I get. Or, hey, Alex, what are you doing? Yeah. And and uh, I just went block, mm-hmm. you know, because I knew that that's what they were up to. Yep, yep. So I'm sitting here with 4,999. 4, now, I could use one of the people out there who maybe isn't an Alex Bennett friend. Okay, or a whore. Uh, to, to, <laughs> a, to ask to be made a friend because... Fill up his slot. If I go up to 5,000, I don't get these hookers. That's right. There you go. But you would think that Facebook would know this was going on. Hey, and would try and... and they have more important stuff. things to do, like murder. <laughs> but all I'm saying is, I, I think this is as much of an annoyance as anything else. It's not murder. You know, I don't think that much spam comes across on Facebook. I don't get... Do you get spam on Facebook? No, but I get... A, it's funny, because I'll look... At let's say a designer on Google somewhere all the way somewhere else, and all of a sudden it appears on the right oh, no, side. No, 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 that's that's a function of Google has the right to know what you're writing. Right. And they when they see a they keyword, sell it like, to they, Facebook. If you write something about uh, oh I don't know uh, Costco, the next thing you know, it's so on the Costco. side of your Facebook yeah, well, that, page. They, they are uh, they're in, it, the, the programs are intelligent that way that they can tell what you're talking about, what your interests are. A lot of times I go to a store but and, you I'll, see the and re- I'll wait, wait, and I'll buy stuff and put it in the cart and then just forget about it. Then all of a sudden, on the right side of Facebook, it says, "Have you forgotten something?" <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> don't well, sign out I, yet. <laughs> I don't mind that, and I'll tell you why I don't mind it. Uh, and it, it's a very simple reason why I don't mind it, because I'm getting it for free. Okay, True. I don't mind if Facebook puts those ads on. And the And you side. don't have to look at it. You don't have to open it. In fact, it up. I don't even get those ads anymore. Oh, I get them all the See, time. See, because I added a vast, which is a, a, a antivirus program, and I think it blocks up out all that? those things. Yeah. What I had to do though is when I went to my Gabnet page, it wouldn't read any of my Facebook videos. Uh-huh. Like when I put a Facebook video there, so I had to tell it not to block that kind of stuff, and now my I get that. You're okay. I'm okay. 
But if I took if I took a vast off of here, I think those would return. But mm -hmm. I don't. Do you notice? It's just blank. Yeah. You know, where on yours? Well, yours is blank too, isn't it? No, I got some stuff floating. You there. have some ads. No, uh, no, no, their that, faces. No, that that no, that's your uh, that's your chat. That's your people talking and notifications and so on. I never go to that chat group. You never go to that chat group. Yeah. Once in a while, yeah. if somebody says something on your Facebook yeah. page, then I'll go in and look. So anyway, the question is, how do I stop these hookers? And uh, I, I don't even think they'll get my message to tell you the truth. Well, you know, you can friend yourself. Huh? <laughs> you can friend yourself. I can friend it myself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me see here. Uh, I think just, it's time. No, it's not time It's 1025. We're getting some, some dropped frames tonight for some reason. I don't know why. The old drop frame. Yeah, yeah. They're dropping like crazy right now. What does that mean? Uh, well, no, my, my CPU, uh, oh well, anyway. Anyway. Uh, so what else did you want to talk if we're, about? If we're jittery, see, I, I can see we're a little jittery. There. What else did you want to talk about? Uh, nothing. Okay, let's nothing. open it up. You, you want to open it up? Yeah, it's, it's five minutes early. Well, it's five minutes yeah, early. It takes you five minutes. But uh, let me uh, let Can me I see. roll over? Huh? Can I roll over? You, you want to roll over, Beethoven? I want to roll do you? over. Do you? Do you? you want to come over here? Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have about 1% frames dropped, uh, and I don't know why. But it stopped. I think it was, I think it was while we were the split screen. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, anyway. Be that as it may, folks. Uh, this is this is the well, this is the wife here, the darling wife. The one and only. Come on into frame, you know. Uh, I, I should actually give you a lavalier microphone, for set one up. Yeah. Next week, so that when okay. you're over here. That, so I don't have these big things on me. Well, no, you have to have big things on you. Why well, you don't? So you can hear. Yeah, but I got a little. Okay. Well, anyway, let, let me let me go here and let me get rid of uh, this. Start and, calling. And let me no, don't start calling yet. I haven't opened the lines yet. Get ready. So now what? Now the lines are are open. There you go. You see, All Scott. Right. All right. Let's hear from you. You know, so uh, you, you know you can. Is it a fill free night? Uh, no, it's not a Phil Free Night. Not a Phil Free no, Night. No, so let's so. hear from Phil. Yeah, well, you'll hear from Phil, and you'll hear Scott. from all those other people, too. And we'll wait until they start calling. And our number, by the way, if you, uh, if you want to be part of the Citizens Panel, we, we have a thing called the, uh, we have called Skype. And if you don't have Skype, download Skype at Skype.com. And then uh, it's very simple to install. And then they ask you four questions, first name, last name, uh, your email address, and are you naked? No, uh, uh, you're, the ID you want. Ours is GabNet Live if you ever decide to suddenly call us. That is the, the, uh, the number to call. Please do. Yeah, and if you want to do it by phone, we do have a phone number that I pay for, so you may as well use it, 347 Three five two zero zero seven nine. If you want any of that zero, information, zero, seven, go to gabnet.net. And at gabnet.net, you will see uh, our uh, Glory, uh, all, are you all, listening? all the information. All the information. Ah. Well, look who's calling. First out of the box, nice. ladies and gentlemen, is well. Here's Phil. There he is. Hey, Phil. How are it's you? It's not a Phil Reading. free night. It's not a Phil free. No, night. no. Were you were you wishing? No, Phil. What's in all those little squares behind you? Uh, camera junk. Camera junk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here. Uh, Excuse uh, me. I'm lenses. nauseous. I have to take it. I have to take it. And then acid. Hey, Kevin's calling. Kevin. Good. Now uh, let's see here. Now, now we're, we have to play the game. Do both of these people get their picture up? Uh, this Phil. Uh, Kevin, turn your camera on, okay, Kevin? Yep, getting there. Okay, he's getting there. There we go. All right. Yay! Yay! Did I just lose? Just... Huh? We see you. Did I just lose my camera? It's I see you, Phil. Wait a minute. I'm, we'll I'm getting you. some kind of slap back there. Or I was. Bob. Oh, Bob Eberth is calling. We haven't heard from Bob in a while. Hi, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Turn on your camera so we can see you. Hmm? Oh, well. I guess he's not going to turn his camera Hi, Bob. Oh, there we go. There's Bob. Hey, Bob. You think we're going to have a full house tonight, Phil? Yeah, Fridays are usually uh, a full house, if not at least a royal flush. <laughs> uh, uh, a fill house, yeah. A fill house. By the way, when we did the split screen, 
That made it choppy. It made it drop frames, but and now, uh, it's now it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I learn how this stuff works. Sure. Get yeah. Well, uh, you know, the other the other night you were uh, doing something with your nose, Alex, and picking it. Re reading. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm I know. scratching I it. Picking it. Don't, don't. No, this is picking. A that's, scientist that's eating picking. boogers is good for your health. Wait, 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 hold, on a hold on a second. It, it, scientists say that eating that's, boogers is good, good for your health. It's good for your health. It's protein. That's picking. Yeah. Okay, it's protein. What, and, what I was doing is this. I was like, it was like itching me, itching my nose. These are the same the scientists that say climate change is coming. But, uh, yeah, eating boogers is good for your health. Uh, and so I just well, it's recycling. It's recycling. And it's protein. So did you, ever, did, did you ever do it when you're in the, in, in school and they had the old radiators? Oh, I was. Uh, what? what the, the old old it, it, we used to make fun of the kids that picked it and eat it. You cook them a little bit. Well, and... I, have, <laughs> I have picked my nose all my life. <laughs> and I and actually, the floor next to him on his side. Well, wait a minute. Bed wait, is wait, like I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you like a, a tragic story from when I was a child. Yeah. Okay as are most of the stories from when I was a child, okay? I, um, I picked my nose. I was a, just an inveterate nose picker. Uh, I find that there's a lot of mining to be done in my nose, okay? <laughs> and the Schwarzman noses were big noses, so it, 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 it fit that we would be picking them uh, like it was, a, 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 you know, the, the mother load. Did you have long okay. hairs? Huh? Did you have long hairs? No, no, not, not at a young age you don't have hairs in your nose. You know, they only pick grow. it too much, your head will cave in. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I used to pick my nose. Well, now w what happened was I had a chance to be on the radio. Never been on the radio in my life at that point. I was a kid. I'm in sc grade school. And it was a, it was a quiz show with kids. And uh, they were going to pick some kids out of our class to go be on this show. Real kids. Yeah. And they decided not to use me because I might pick my nose. <laughs> I remember that. It was a tragic moment for me in my life. And rightfully so. Huh? I mean, they called you on it. And where's yeah. the American with Disabilities Act when you need it? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, where is the anti the, the pro nose picking league or something or the yeah, uh, yeah. anti, yeah. anti so nose so picking far. defamation society? Well, that's where Drudge has finally gone to is uh, talking about picking uh, picking noses. Has it? Uh, yeah, but they had one other good article tonight uh, that uh, there's a new beer being made from urine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is this and, what's and, showing up? Is is Drudge so lacking anything to write about anymore that this is? Uh, this. There's no more tweets on uh, you know from Trump lately, so they they got to go to other stories. Oh, he's still tweeting. Yeah, but yeah. not good enough. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. Hello there, everybody. Hi. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Martha. Yeah. Turn on the old camera so we can see that. Put him. Put him. Uh, a, a handsome gentleman, Jeff is. Oh. There Look at that! Wow! Huh? Distinguished. He may, you know, he's kind of the. It's nice having him next to Phil on the screen because, <laughs> you know, he has the. It's the dignity and the 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 bearing, and then you've got Phil. <laughs> with okay. with with his foil tin foil hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you love that tin foil hat, don't you? Oh yeah. Uh, it's going to fall apart soon, but uh, well, we'll be very happy for that. Sure. We'll go for mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, how's how's things, Bob? What have you been doing lately? Well, the program manager from my uh, radio station is coming to stay for ten days next Monday. For ten days? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do what some you, shows what? together. Now, this is the, these are what these are uh, these are hospital radio stations or something like that. Or? Well, it's community and hospital. So I'm on the FM airband there. I'm on the internet, and I'm also in three different hospitals. Wow. Now, Bob, is that in a different country? Uh, uh, it's in Cornwall, England. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. How and he's flying you over. What do you Pardon do about me? the American accent? You know, is uh, I'm the only one on the station without an accent. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So, uh, so he's but, coming but for the, uh, ten days. Where are you now, Bob? But you have to talk. Into I'm in Whitehall, New York. You're in New York. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you get it to them? Yeah. Uh, I pre-record all my shows and then I just upload them to the station. Oh, okay. That's okay. cool. And what do you do? Play music or? <coughs> 
I do one show of independent and alternative music, one show of jazz, blues, rock, whatever, yeah. and one show of Bollywood music from India. Oh, boy, that one I would like. <laughs> well, you guys can tune me in. Just uh, where, are you, where are you on the Internet? It's www.chbnradio.org. Oh, C-H-B-N. Oh, you're an O-R-G, wow. Yeah, he's an <coughs> org. An org. An org as opposed to an edu. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow morning from uh, 10 until 12 is my normal slot yeah. on Saturdays. Oh, well, we'll be in the movies at that time. That's nice. <coughs> oh, we're seeing Guardians. Yeah. <coughs> Volume 2. Oh, right. You got a little cold there, Bob? Uh, I've just been choking lately. Really? Yeah. I, I also read that there uh, there was a flood. Was it Penn Station uh, 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 had a had a flood today? Oh, we had flash floods all day, all over New York. It was it yeah. rained unbelievable. Wow. <coughs> yeah, really did, huh? yeah. I, I looked outside. It looked like it was raining. I went out for lunch. That I, I hear it sometimes on the window. Yeah, pane. sure. It rained all day here. I was hard, I was going to go down and buy a camera today. And uh, uh, I, I couldn't get out because one thing led to another. And then I wound up having to go to Costco to go get a receipt and there was from last day. month. And there was his day. <clears throat> I, isn't it funny that I save every receipt? You know this. I save every receipt. In fact, she goes, why do you do that? And I go, oh, yeah. And uh, I didn't save that receipt. For some reason, that receipt did not get saved. But I went to Costco and they printed it out and said, here's your receipt. Now do you remember what you did? How you fucked up? And then I, I hate paper. Well, he still thinks yeah. he's a business. No, it is that. Yes, it is. It isn't that. It's that they keep track of. Oh well. Of what? It. I'm not going to argue this with you. You know. Uh, no, I'm nothing. I have no business. I am uh, a failure. Uh, I'm a has been. I'm a washed up piece of shit. Go ahead, say <laughs> it. Save your well, receipts. I think it's cute. What? Yeah. Save your receipts. Well, at least you got a big enough place to have a file room. Yeah. And this is it. We've got two big files here. Yeah. Plus all the closets. Two big files? Where's the other? Yours oh, yeah. And, and yeah. Mine. Well, mine just. I, I have a, a room at the store that's a, above, you know, it's like a loft. Uh -huh. And I have 25 filing cabinets there. Wow. As well as, I don't know, maybe 150 boxes. And they're all filled. I haven't thrown anything away since 1984. Jesus. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you only know, have to hold on to stuff for seven years. Oh, I know, but th that means I have to go up there and have the guy uh, bring them down and then call the shredder truck. Uh, and so I can start throwing these boxes into the shredder truck because I have people's credit card information, sure, sure. applications for uh, credit, and, and you know, Absolutely. I, I just can't throw that stuff away. Yeah. So, and. Um, uh, so I, I've been avoiding the pain. Oh, I I, I, I thought uh, Shredder Truck just pulled up and, and a bunch of people who were uh, snow uh, snowboard skiers got out. Oh, oh that would be nice. See, you Shredders, know. you get, get Bad it? Bad joke. You get it? But shredders. Huh? They do that in San all, all, Francisco. Uh, they, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, all the kids Central will understand Divisadero. that joke. What? Uh, on Divisadero Street, they, they sometimes make... Uh, you know, uh, phony snow, mm -hmm. and then people will ski down to visit Arrow Street. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. Rob. Yeah. Hi, Rob. Hey there. Hey, How's how you doing? doing? Happy Friday. Uh, we're going to get the mysterious darkened room tonight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna... sitting outside. It's raining and nasty here. Oh, it, oh it, we it, had it all day. Today, it was, I, could, I could hear it, you know, from the inside. I'm going to do something with my camera. Uh, I'll be right. What are you going to do with your camera? What are you going to uh, do? You, well, because I'm I'm exed out. Uh, you I don't exed understand why. Out. You exed yourself yeah, out. Yeah, there's an X across it, or an a, a, across a, 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 and it's well, black, then. and it doesn't uh, doesn't turn on or off. Uh, Has oh. anybody ever jailbroken their iPhone? I'm trying to do that. Uh, yeah, my uh, take, girlfriend did. She took it to the place. Back. No, no, that's not how you what? do it. It's uh, it's a matter of programming it. Oh. Uh, Phil, you might want to. Hang up and call no, back I'll in again. Back. Actually, I ghosted out last night, and then when somebody left the line, it came back. It on. came back on. Yeah. Well, I'm ghosted right now, but you, yeah. I guess you see me. But I'll, no, I'll I, we don't see you. <laughs> no, oh. no you're, there you come. He'll no? he'll call right back. I'll tell you. Hear this? That's the bad weather. That's my sinuses all, cool all, all all attacking me. Yep. 
at the same time. Hello. Now, do you have a, a camera? No. What? Uh, no. Turn it there on. you go. Now we do. Now yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. There he is. And All with right. that, I'm going to say good night, everyone. Good night. Mm. Good night. Good night. Good night. By the way, your salad sucked. Oh. Okay. Fuck you. What do you mean, fuck me? <laughs> and look at what you did. See? I have, this is, I have, this I, is New York. I did a little prep work. Fuck me. Fuck you. Papers and threw them Sorry. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> prep work here. Wow. A lot of, lot, of, lot of prep. And I put it there, and she managed to knock it all off. Anyway. So uh, I saw all the rain and, and all of that wind that was going on here today, just like what you yeah. saw. Yeah. Uh, it was terrible. It was terrible. Well, here's these guys out there playing golf today. I no. couldn't believe it. They're idiots. None of that. One guy had shorts on. <laughs> I, guess, uh, I guess if you're a golfer. and It's I a pneumonia team. And I could never understand why. Are any of you guys golfers ever been golfers? No. no. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I have. You have? I've been on and off. Yeah, well, what's off. the, you know, I tried it once and found it to be the most boring game in the world and frustrating, too. It I is. Like, so I like golf courses. Are, I, I like walking around if there's no one playing golf because uh, they're relaxing. But as far as playing golf, I've never picked up a club. You know, That's what I like about golfing is you just go out there and it's quiet. and You know, because I usually go early in the morning, so... I like mornings. Yeah, well, why would you want to anyway? I mean, I, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, uh, 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 to begin with, like tennis, I tried tennis once and I hated that because I had to keep chasing the balls. Yeah. You yeah. know, and that, I got more exercise chasing the balls than I did hitting them. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, it's a frustrating game. It and, gets in and, your head. And, and the same thing kind of is true of, of, uh, of, of golf, except in this case, you're looking for the fucking ball. You're getting a lot of time yeah. walking around trying to find a, you know, a tiny and, and, little and ball. And it's counterintuitive. You, you want to get a low score, you know. Uh, who, who wants a low score? You want a high <laughs> score. <yeah. laughs> well, um, who is it that said that sports that are very popular are the ones that are high-scoring sports? Or more popular yeah. than low-scoring sports. Like in other basketball. words, football is more popular than baseball. Right. Um, although yeah, baseball, it's just a mind thing. But in the old big, days... Big it, numbers are exciting, I guess. Do you know why football suddenly became the big sport and baseball took a second... Because second it's game? a blood sport? No. Because, more teams. Because, no, because baseball was a radio sport. Yeah. Uh, you could make baseball more exciting than it actually was by just narrating it right yeah good a good announcer will make a good In baseball fact, game i used to work and for you guy, don't have to be watching it i i work for a guy named gordon mcclendon who first has made his first money with his liberty radio network uh by doing broadcast recreations of baseball games mm -hmm. and he would have somebody in the other town uh, sitting there with binoculars looking at the uh looking <laughs> at the at the stadium and then uh, all he would have to say is strike, miss, strike, you know, uh, hit, runs to first base. And then all he would do there is he would look at that and then he would embellish it. And some yeah. people said that his recreations were more exciting than the actual game. Yeah, a good announcer would yeah. make a good game. That's why to this day now, at the end of every broadcast or somewhere in the broadcast, they say any recreation of this yeah. game is strictly prohibited the reason for that was gordon mcclendon because they had to put a stop to him because he in every town that he was on they were listening to him rather than the person who was actually there doing the play-by-play -play. so uh uh it was a radio sport football was not a radio sport because football i don't even know if they did it on radio i mean it's just you got to do a play-by-play yeah. -play on football yeah, is, so can be r is it that has the uh the, the well, they do it now, <coughs> but I'm saying back then, I don't know if they actually did, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway. They even do some of the high school. Huh? Some yeah. of the high schools. Yeah, but now. But the back, local radio. But, but back then, so it, 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 when television came in, football was a great TV sport. You know, yeah. a lot of action, a lot of movement. Uh, 
and uh, Howard Cosell. <laughs> Howard Cosell, exactly. Uh, but so. but so so that that changed the whole game on what which was the most popular uh, game. So uh, you know, at, but uh, you know, and, and baseball I think has a longer season than football. Although they're all kind of getting to be longer seasons. It used to be that you know basketball was three weeks, and you know now it goes on forever. What's all that noise? Is that you, Brian, adjusting yourself? Yeah, yeah, probably. But, uh, hockey in. seems to be the longest to me. The seems longest? To... Yeah. It does seem that way. Is it still? It's gotten is... longer. Yeah, it goes into June now. Is it still a Jesus. phony? Sp... It used to be a phony fuck sport. It oh, used what's to... that? It used to be like wrestling. You know. Oh, I love hockey. Really? Yeah, but I got uh, it on I'm Thinking hockey. of roller derby. But is it? No, no. I'm thinking of hockey. Am I not right, I'm Kevin? That at now. one time hockey was kind of. There's a cat going past somebody's camera. Uh, uh, am, I, am I right? I mean, there was a time when hockey was kind of irreputable. I wouldn't know that. Yeah, I, I never heard that. Especially it's, in the last 10 years. Oh, Jeff. Sidney Crosby. When uh, <clears throat> in New York City, in I think it was 1950 or so, yeah. they, <clears throat> the high schools played hockey before that. They took it off. It was illegal. In high schools, really? I don't know why I wasn't there. I think because I mean, other than too violent, it had to have been. Yeah, they beat the shit like out of that. each other. Well, it was a phony sport, you know. Rugby is even more violent. I hear though, across the pond and then. Oh, oh rugby can get very violent. Phew. Yeah, uh, you know I don't understand though. If you want an action sport, soccer has far more action going for it than football, especially in the stands. And I know those low low numbers. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so. you're right. You're act absolutely right. In America it doesn't play well because of the low numbers. Yeah. You know, the winner of a of a game of a soccer match could be one to zero. Yeah, one nothing is a good game, supposedly. Yeah. Yeah, but they'll have sixteen deaths. But I mean each yeah. each half is <laughs> forty five yeah, solid true. minutes of play. You know, yeah, they don't I, they, stop for nothing. They don't stop for nothing. <clears throat> uh, guys uh, injured on the field, they go over there and fix them while the ball goes flying by their head. Yeah, they go running over them. You know, I mean, they do not stop that game. So tell me which sport is, uh, I think of football not as being as much of a sport as it is just a bruising thing, you know. Everybody's client clam clamming into each other. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm making up words now. Everybody's like uh, clamoring into Shakespeare each other. did it. Did he uh, <laughs> make up words? He made up. It's reputed. He's reputed to have made up over sixteen thousand uh, words in the English language. Really? Can you name one? <laughs> I'm not a scholar, so what can I say? <laughs> Forsooth, maybe that's one of them. Maybe that's yeah. one right there. Possibly. Yes. I'm sure Goobly Gop was uh, one of them too. Goobly Gop? Yeah. What's was that your word that you came up with one night? Yes. Goobly Gop <laughs> and I I what the fuck is that Phil? I think was my response. Well, you look at look to Shakespeare. <laughs> I've made up swear words like cockety suck fuck and cuntly wantly volvole bitch. <laughs> oh, you've got more free time than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Only in my head. What was that one again? I like that. Uh, cockety suck fuck and cuntly wantly vulva lipped bitch. I said it before on this program. Cuntly wantly. Cuntly wantly. Right, so the, uh, the sanitized, censored version. If you want to say it in front of some some woman, maybe you're supervisor or something who you think is an absolute twat and you want to say seely weeby seely wheely viva la bird i just say see you next tuesday <laughs> now, I, now let me ask you a question this is interesting brian again you know and I, I i defer to you as being gay because you know we don't have that many gay people on this panel or at least not that many people who admit it uh, uh not that there's anything wrong with that uh, i wouldn't care if there was the question would be if a gay person says something that a straight person might say that would be considered sexist, is he considered sexist for having said it because he's gay? And again, I can't answer that question because I just don't give a fuck. It's like uh, I speak my mind. I don't. Word, right? A black what? guy using the N word. What's that? It's like you say a black guy using the N word. 
Yeah, well, well, yeah, no, I, no. Like, I lost some thought that you know. No, but one gay one gay guy, guy saying, one gay guy can say to another box. guy, uh, yeah. hey, "Hey, you fag," but yeah. the but the point is, what I'm saying is, if he says something that's sexist, like fuddly wuddly cunt fuckly fuckly, whatever that is. <laughs> He just made a new one. I'm gonna remember that one. Yeah, right. I don't. I can't even remember. It. Uh, but uh, something like that. Would you be considered to be sexist as a result of saying that because you're gay? And uh, can a gay person be sexist? Probably be lit on fire if I could be. <laughs> <laughs> By an angry mob of women. Well, and then you truly, if you could be lit on fire, would be a faggot. Well, yeah. You see. Because that's where I, I think, think the term comes from. The, the, that's where the term comes from. Yeah. It's a, it's Sticks, a, it's a, a cigarette. Um, it's it's a changed over the centuries. The, yeah. The, some words like fag have changed. I mean, there's this brilliant South Park episode in the 16th season that covered just that fact. And they wanted to change the word faggot to define people who ride Harley motorcycles. No offense, Phil. Um like really, really loudly in quiet neighborhoods because ah, you know they got ah. tiny penises and they want to they want everybody to pay heedings to their big engines. It must be true because I like to set off uh, car alarms. Yeah, me too. Uh, it, it's it's a it's a, a rite of passage. I hate fucking motorcycles. They, yeah. I like you know I well, I have a motorcycle license, but uh, I just I'm all about contrary to how I act on this in this venue. If you knew me on the street. I'm a pretty low-key person. Yeah. Well, if you weren't, you'd get killed for the things you say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because people yeah. always used to say to me, Alex, are you like you are off the air like you are on the air? And I said, no, because if I did, somebody would kill me. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't live a week. <laughs> you know. uh, but no, what I'm saying is, is that, uh, that uh, I hate motorcycles because they make so much fucking noise. And That's they don't the have what? Uh, what? Yeah, at least you can hear us coming. No, That's but the other thing is a practical. Not look. No, but you could make a muffler that stopped that motorcycle from making noise. That's but, the then, worst. But, then, but then there's a bunch of them, like you know, 25 guys on motorcycles will drive past this apartment house, and the drone is just overwhelming. <laughs> it's inconsiderate. <laughs> yeah, but I enjoy that sound. Oh, yeah, but it's inconsiderate. It's you anti. Gotta come out here. Hmm? You got to come out here in uh, July, July Fourth weekend. Yeah. There's about thirty-seven thousand of them. They doubles the the city for the rally every year. Look at it this way, Alex. Oh, you you, in my uncle said it. You yeah. He's an avid motorcyclist. You're in Hollister. Yeah. Oh, well, that that was the place that all the gangs used to go to. Exactly. Well, That's at least the ported gangs. In fact, the wasn't... wild the wild ones was made here with Marlon Brando. And right. Yeah. All that. Yeah. Right. Right. Johnny's Bar is still open downtown. I got a Corbin seat. I, I went down there to get it uh, on my bike. Now, Corbin yeah. is, When's the know. last time you used your bike, Phil? Uh, I don't know, a couple, about three months ago, probably. See, what a waste of money. It's been raining. It's been raining. You're, in, you're paying insurance on that. You know. uh, it, it but you only pay much. insurance once a year in the state of Pennsylvania. Yeah. One time like, for the cheap. whole year. Uh, yeah, the you insurance pay like hundred dollars a month or hundred dollars. My bike's a uh, two thousand six, you know. So um, you know, it, it's and Plus it's paid. You're getting, you're getting like forty to eighty miles to the gallon. I get forty, uh, forty or forty five, uh, yeah. but um, yeah, it's not it's not that you know. Riding it is the closest thing that you can do to like scuba diving, and it, and and it puts you very much in touch with the road. You can just stop whenever you want. Mm. Uh, and uh, you know, just smell the roses. It, it's a, it's actually very relaxing. I like yeah. activities like that above land. See, I, I'm, I know I've heard in the past before I started calling in here that uh, you feel you're an avid scuba diver. I'm mildly afraid of any type of water. I can't see my feet in that's taller than my head. Every, everybody <laughs> has I has, uh, has those fears of, cla of claustrophobia and, and so forth. But uh, Longfellow said, "If you do what it is you fear, the fear will go away." And it's very, very true. Uh, that 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 is not true. I mean, I always had a great fear out of being married, so I got married, and I still have the fear. Anyway, yep. uh, do it over and over, and expect a in, different results. In fact, the, the yeah. oh, look at the kitty. Some of you look, do that. Yeah. This is kind of kitty night. Uh, Bob Eberth had a cat walking by, and now there's uh, what's the name of that one again, Rob? It's Jack. He's my 11-month-old. He's 
13 and a half pounds, almost 14 pounds. Oh, geez, that's a fat fucking cat. Well, they get to be that way, right? Yeah, he can get up to is 20. He, is he lying on his back? He's on his side. Oh, on his side. Okay. Because he's, he's so fluffy, you can't tell which end is up. He's um, giving you a butt shot there. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah, on. my my cat tonight is all weirded out because we had to put one of our other cats to sleep this morning. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah it's a bummer. I had to put it. Oh, oh. This guy's all freak. I had I, had I had I had to put. I had, think she's next. I had to put a cat down once. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I had to put a cat down. I had I told him he was not as good as the dog. So <laughs> I knew there was a setup there. But the, Bob, how was the? Yeah. Uh, how old is the one that walked across the screen that was freaked out? Uh, he's about a, a year and a half. Uh, oh, okay. Still. Mm -hmm. But does he that's miss the other good. cat? Uh, he, that's why I think he's sitting here on my uh, bench. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, the, the vet told him, you're next. So <laughs> you better shape up. <laughs> he's freaking out. Yeah. So, well, anyway, um, let me see here. Um, uh, any 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 news uh, today? Uh, French. Uh, it seems as though the Russians are doing to uh, the um, Mar Marchand or Mar uh, Marchand or yeah. uh, they're doing to him what they did to Hillary. Yeah, I read and, something about that. And uh, well, also he, they he, hacked he, his emails. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they released a whole bunch of them. And it seems as though the French d uh, have a rule that they don't release any information. Uh, within, I think, 24 hours of the election. And uh, so they're urging the media not to repeat any of the things that have been exposed. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, and I bet they're adhering to that rule. Media and also they have some, they are. and there's more security uh, concerns there because Greenpeace uh, put up a big uh, a banner on the Eiffel Tower uh, you know, with the French saying, uh, it Liberté. Said, uh, no, it said free admission. <laughs> yeah, really. That's why they were really pissed off. Are uh, open, open all night. Yeah, so <laughs> eat at Joe's. But, so they, they put this big banner up, and they're wondering how uh, their security could have been breached. So that that's instilling more fears, and it might be Le Pen that benefits from all of these things. I hope not. Well, you know, if the world's going to go to... Uh, hell in a handbasket for us let it go to hell in a handbasket for everybody else too you know? yeah well uh so th this is an interesting this is an interesting thing because uh it seems as though the russians are making a concerted effort to hack into every election and so are they becoming the uh the hub for email shit and gonna start dumping shit out every every election that comes around now do we That's know gonna, isn't yeah. that kind of exposing themselves well, yeah, but uh, there's enough stupid people that fall for it, uh, and um, you know, and if they can influence elections, even if it's just to say, "Hey, we fucked your election up," uh, you know, that's uh, yeah. that may be what they want. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't think they really care who gets in. They were probably better off with Hillary because she gave them all that uranium. Uh, you know, just uh, uh, and, and Trump wouldn't do that. So you know, Hillary uh, was probably uh, better for them than uh, uh, than Trump, but they uh, they went after Hillary. And I'm not going to lie. Just to screw things up. I'm not going to lie to any of you, especially you, Alex, and saying that that I'm not going to deny that there's a strong anarchistic streak in me that just wants doesn't take at least some iota of pleasure in just watching the whole thing burn. <laughs> uh, uh, you know something i'm kind of with you in a way you know i mean uh, i i there's a part of me that is going i kind of hope this country falls into the abyss because then it's the how only come you didn't vote for trump what and then how come with this attitude you didn't vote for trump uh, no 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 i i only under trump do i wish it would fall into the abyss uh -huh. because uh uh, short of that, uh, this guy, we're really stuck with this guy, you know? I don't think you're going to have a problem getting your word, getting what you think is going to. It is falling into shit, and that's the end of it, so. They well, say that this, that this uh, uh, whole stance on, uh, on Obamacare is going to kill the Republicans. 
Well, that just, they're, they're really barking up a bad tree here. Well, Rather, now that the Senate is talking about starting from scratch and the moderate senators are you know, much more moderate than they are in Congress are already – gripping over the fact that 24 million people are going to lose their health care and they're taking out all of these, uh, you know, these they're, they're taking stuff away from people and they're not going to have it. So I'm well, not really worried about it. There's a, there's another problem with it and that the is it the CBO has not uh, ranked it yet as right. to what uh, what's going to go on. And because of that, all of these fears that people are talking about are unfounded. And once once it actually goes through, I guess, the CBO, uh, then then the facts. I will believe come the CBO came out with some stuff a while back about what would that happen was on a different deal. What no, but what would happen if, you know, uh, so uh, that they had some information and they were saying that it was it was going to cost a lot of money. You know, the money it's going to cost it, to begin with. The fact is that when you have a society that doesn't go to see doctors and doesn't do preemptive health, okay, you have a, a big amount of money that's going to be spent take, you know, uh, taking care of that because people are going to wind up in emergency rooms. People are going to wind up uh, in, in a lot of different situations, and uh, uh, it's, it's going to cost the country a fortune. Yeah, it's called penny-wise pound foolish, right? Maybe the government should run health care. No, here's what they should have done. No, mandating it, things like no more fast food, no more cigarettes, no, no more uh, uh, sugar. And, you fine know, with and, me. And just, fine with me. Here's, hey, just here, like in Australia. Here, here, you don't really have a problem. No, in Australia what they do is uh, they, I think there's something that has to do with if you quit smoking and you quit doing sugar and so on, you get more services. I, oh. I can't remember what the thing oh. is exactly. What, what I was kind of referring to, and I don't want to go down the gun path, but in Australia, at one point you could own guns, and then all of a sudden they decided no more guns, turn them in. And, uh, you know, of course, that's, that's a right that they took away. I uh, thought that in Australia that you had, uh, they, they regulated uh, firearms the way you're uh, regulated uh, in terms of uh, driving here in this country. In other words, you have to have not only a license to carry a particular type of firearm or firearms, that, but that you that, also have to have insurance so that... Uh, well, that may be true, although they made everybody turn in their guns, including farmers and uh, and, and, and others. But you got to uh, remember, they, they, aren't, they aren't stuck with a pesky constitutional amendment that guarantees the right to use guns. Well, that's the that's thing, though. Right. I wonder, you know, even though it says a right, you have a right to you have a right to something doesn't mean you you don't have responsibilities for exercising that right well of course not you know uh but what i was talking about is that uh, here's a government that can all of a sudden turn around and change the deal and they can do it with health care uh and maybe just maybe uh you know uh, that's what this country needs is a kick in the ass because we're all overweight except alex uh <laughs> you know we're, we're all uh jeff doesn't crap. look overweight to me uh, i know but the, you're the one that just lost 55 pounds so uh, yeah. uh and uh so you know with all of these with all of these things hey m maybe it's time that they ought to outlaw some of this stuff i i would think that you'd have a lot of fat people squealing that they're taking away their ice cream and candy. Squealing is right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winking. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I just, uh, uh, all I'm saying is, is that uh, every now and then I get a, I'm getting a slap back the last couple of nights. I think it's coming from one of you people, but I don't, can't figure out who. Yeah. Anyway. No, anyway. no you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's not, uh, nobody can hear it except me, probably. Uh, yeah. Where was I? I uh, forgot we were, where I we're was. talking I'm about uh, tonight, the right? sugar and the, and, and the fact that, on uh, medical, that, uh, yeah, you know, I, you I, know, I, I, I think, I think sugar is terrible. I mean, I think sugar is the worst thing that we take into our systems. There is no real positive virtue for sugar. You know, until they do something about making healthier foods more accessible to people. Yeah. You know, they're for some reason, you go into the, yo, know, they're accessible. We but just try don't, to feed a, we don't try, choose them. No, that's uh, not they're true. More no, expensive. No, here's, yeah, more way more, more expensive. Here's go, a, yeah. go to the store and buy some vegetables and see the difference between that and, uh, you know, the, the, the sale on a half a gallon of ice cream. My right. diet, yeah. my diet has cost, me, uh, has cost me a fortune. 
okay, between the meats that I've had to eat and vegetables and things like that mm -hmm. that are, are not sugar-based. Poor people eat Kentucky Fried Chicken. Let, Poor let people you, eat ice cream. You know? I went to Mexico. Because it's cheap. Uh, yeah, exactly. I went to Mexico scuba diving uh, back w uh, when I was on Atkins many, uh, several years ago. Mm. And uh, I, all I wanted was some, you know, almonds or, you know, something that I could have, a protein snack. So I went into a store. I couldn't find one thing that wasn't a major carbohydrate. Uh, there, there was nothing, no protein, anything. It was all crap food. And, uh, you know, that, and, and so it was tough. Uh, you know, everything they eat down there is, uh, is a carbohydrate. Yeah, well, what, they fill the shelves with what sells. Well, you see, what yeah. happens is if you look at 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 uh, well, any of the processed mm -hmm. foods, you're going to find corn sugar being used like crazy in every, in products you wouldn't even think you'd find corn sugar in. Yeah, and it, 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 paper. And, and that uh, that uh, that causes a problem. That's where diabetes <laughs> is coming from, and you know. Yeah. And I don't want to say to Brian, "Hey, Brian, stop you doing the sugar," because you'd probably want to punch me through your. Uh, he camera. do that anyway, but uh. <laughs> no. But I mean, I just think that y you know you're a lot healthier. I mean, I used to talk about going scuba diving. I don't know when you gained all that weight. How did you manage to sink? Uh, more weight. <laughs> uh, you know, you put more lead on. Did you find you'd <laughs> have to? Suit, right? Did you find you would actually have to put more lead on you in order to make yes. you sink when you get the fatter you got? Yes, because really? fat is buoyant. Wow. And, uh, well, it also has to do with, with the exposure suit that you're wearing. But, you know, I could be in the Keys or I, when I dove in the Coral Sea and the Great Barrier Reef and, and, and the, the uh, Bermuda, uh, not Bermuda, um, uh, 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 Turks and Caicos, for instance, uh, I could wear uh, a lighter exposure suit and I didn't need as much weight. But I've, uh, I have dove there when I was thin. I dove there when I was heavy. And uh, so in the same water, same exposure suit, I had to wear uh, considerably more weight to, uh, to, to get down. Wow. See? Yeah. Well, that should tell you something. I don't yeah. know what. Hello, John Rockwell. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I heard I, I was watching you guys on Facebook for a while, and I heard about uh, – about sugar and about you know dietary stuff and it's like well maybe I should go. Well, on. you you lost know, you, you lost know. quite a bit of weight, didn't you? You said I did. Yeah. Well, did you, did uh, half of it probably from being in the hospital for six six seven days. Uh, that'll that'll take weight right off you because hmm. they give you minimal uh, minimally interesting food and well, well, <laughs> you know I I you're honestly drinking, you're believe. not drinking anything. I had my first. Well, I had eight. I had an eight ounce glass of beer tonight. The first one I've had since uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, it was a special deal at this place I go to off and on. And uh, I said, "Well, you know, one is not going to." And it didn't. It was great, though. It's interesting. I'm on the way home. I'm thinking, "Gee, I wonder if I'm walking sort of straight." You know, no, I wasn't drunk, but it was just sort of. It was like it you know, it's been so long. I was wondering if I have a couple of beers, whether I'm going to really feel it. Yeah, uh, people say they do if they've been off. Because I was drinking three or four beers four or five nights a week, you know, and at places, and uh, and then uh, this was the first beer that was more than maybe a half ounce of sample beer or something. Yeah. So it was interesting, you know. It wasn't very strong, six percent, but it was, uh, you know. I decided, man, nah, you know, as long as I'm, if I don't drink a lot, I have, you know, I can still at least have the occasional because i'm a real beer geek so this is really tough on me <laughs> you know? me, i like beer. yeah yeah you know, uh, and, by, and the, by the way tastes and styles yeah. and you well, know speaking if of you ever want to do a beer show let me know i'll do a beer blog well talking you. about beer and so on you know what today is don't you cinco, uh, cinco, de, drinko? <laughs> cinco de drinko and uh i have a picture here for the audience you guys won't be able oh. to see it but everybody yeah. there he is folks donald trump <clears throat> Eating his taco bowl from last year. Oh, I remember that picture. Yeah, yeah, that picture. He likes Mexicans, huh? He likes Mexicans. They're they're wonderful. They they're, love them. They're wonderful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did anybody sure did anybody see Conan O'Brien do his show from Mexico City this week? No. Yeah, they were running yeah. a little while ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty actually pretty funny. He had the president yeah. of Mexico on who went like this for Don to Donald Trump. <laughs> 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 yeah, did they, did they, did they, they pixel it out? About, no. They, no. He did not pixel it out. FCC will be on his back soon. 
Well, you know why? You know why? TBS. Because it's it's basic cable, but it's not over the air broadcasting. Right. Well, right. TBS does ble- does bleep a few things on Conan, and they leave other things in. They leave shit in, but the F so, word is shit. Is, shit other is, shit is now allowed on basic cable. I've seen it go from not being there. And I've now, seen enough but, things on but, basic cable that I, were shit, but, but still, yeah, yeah exactly. but, but fuck is yet to make shit. it. You know, yeah. and they, they, I, uh, the the president of. Uh, of Mexico when he came out, he brought Conan a gift, which was some Mexican boots. And on the boots, it said, we're not paying for this fucking wall. And they bleeped out F-U-C in the, they blur, blurred out the F-U-C. We're not paying for this skin wall. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. It was really a funny program tonight. Mm. I don't, I got tired of Conan, but I enjoyed the, the Mexico city one tonight. Yeah. yeah. He, well, he's under, I think they're taking him down to one day a week, aren't they? Or something. No. Really? I hadn't heard that. He's only got, he doesn't have a large audience. I was looking at the audience numbers for uh, mm. uh, for uh, uh, the, the various Eight late night, night shows. Mm. And in, uh, in just total persons, Colbert is number one, Fallon's number two, uh, mm. Kim, uh, Kimmel is number three. And they're all, uh, Kimmel's about a million and a half, I think. Uh, and when you're getting up to in the territory of... Uh, of of Kim of, of of Fallon and 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 Colbert, you're talking about somewhere in the three millions. Okay, when you talk about Conan, I suddenly saw that number. And it was like five hundred thousand. Well, how did he do uh, on NBC? They they pulled him off of that show pretty fast. No, he uh, did. Oh, the Tonight Show. Tonight Show, yeah, yeah. Because uh, Jerry Leno wanted back on there. Well, yeah, he, he came back and said, Ooh, "We better we better take care of this." You know, no, NBC was, said we better take care of this. And, you know, I, it, Conan was a bad idea. OK, uh, but uh, as long as they gave it to him, they should have given him more time. It was only fair to give him more time to, you know, because if they had gotten rid of Colbert when he was doing badly over at CBS, he'd be gone by now. But they saw yeah. him through that. And now on the other side now, he's in total number. He doesn't have the 18 to 49 yet, but he's getting close. But in total number, uh, he's beating out uh, Fallon every night. Mm. And he says, thank you, Donald Trump, every night <laughs> because oh, of that. Yeah. Well, Pretty I mean, soon he'll catch up to Gavin's numbers. <clears throat> yeah, he'll get it. There we go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I'm looking at an article now from Variety. You're right there. Considering, this is from January, they're considering moving, uh, moving his show to a weekly format. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder how he'd take that. Well, I mean, they probably well, they air it they, twice a night, you know, with they, a with they, a Seinfeld in between. Yeah, well, so. they probably will get better numbers just running Seinfeld. Yeah, you know, um, uh, I, think I think that's I've what seen they, everything on Seinfeld three times. Huh? Yeah. you know, I don't yeah. think it'll work though because the one thing about TBS is nobody knows where the hell it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, can anybody here tell me where TBS is on your system? I gotta look for yeah, it. Every channel three. It's in my I it's in my top ten yeah. numbers. Is channel eight. Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah, I have Slim. Oh, TBS is channel, TNT, yeah, TBS. yeah, channel eight, and 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 uh, TNT is three. Yeah, so cool. they're, just, yeah. they're very easy to get to. Yeah, with when you're Sling, going to you ABC, don't... you go right next door and you get Conan. Yeah, well, with the Sling TV, you don't have channels. Mm-hmm. You you have a bar, and then you you just uh, go on the guide, and you go to the, and it says, oh, TBS or FX or uh, uh, Fox. And uh, you, you click Ooh, on it. Uh, yeah, but who gives a shit about do, Sling? And- You're behind the times with Sling now. Well, I, I like the Sling. I'm, I'm happy. I tell with you, it. you got a better Watching deal going. Have you seen? Have you seen what you can get uh, with uh, Hulu now and with? Uh, with no. Uh, uh, have, have, they, have they upped and, the game? And, and with uh, YouTube. Because oh, I have Hulu. YouTube but, uh, for thirty-five bucks a month yeah. gives you about forty different stations, uh, all live. Okay, all mm-hmm. all their live feeds. And this is like Fox, CBS, NBC, ABC, and then uh, uh, and then on top of it, you get unlimited cloud DVR storage. Huh. So in other I words, let's crazy. say let's say there's a show that's going to be on at a certain time of night, but you're not going to be there to see it live when it runs on YouTube. Uh, you can simply record it to the cloud DVR and come home and watch it. Wow, I, I just I and the same thing is true. Same thing's true with Hulu, but they're a little more expensive because they charge for the cloud. Well, with YouTube, well, I, I, I would figure the Sling uh, to the Sling Blue, 
And so I've got many, many more channels than I used to have. Uh, and um, I, What I'm I, saying is you may find, maybe, you should check these other things out because you may will. find that, that, that Sling is not giving you the bang for your buck that, for instance, YouTube will give you. Because yeah, I'm paying 40 bucks now for Sling with the additional channels. How many channels? I think there's 40. Yeah, well, 40 is the number, I think, on YouTube, and I think it's the number on Hulu. And I, with, with, and with YouTube, you also stuff. get the free DVR service in the uh, cloud, unlimited. Well, but I got, a ton of, I got a ton of sports channels, which are a waste for me. And That's the problem with them, yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, you know, you got all these ESPNs and and all these other networks, and uh, uh, you know, I, I don't watch those. So I think there's three different levels, and I might be able to get rid of the sports and get something. I uh, want to watch guys play with balls. I'll just tune into uh, Euro Cream. <laughs> <laughs> What's that Literally called? Like soccer. <laughs> or red tube or X-tube, whatever the fuck. X, uh, red tube, X-tube, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, there's a program I use, YTD video downloader. You download YouTube videos using that, among other applications and programs and questionably yeah. other resources I've used to uh, acquire this. Well, you know, I tell you, I, you know, I'm getting very close to that time when I'm considering doing the cord cutting. I know that, Rob, did you do the cord cutting? I did it, but I went back to it because uh, of my baseball. There's no, when you cut the cord, mm -hmm. there's no way to get all the baseball you want to get. See, I can live without that. Yeah, I can't. And, yeah. and I, I was fine because I got the Major League Baseball package. So I had all my baseball games until you get to the playoffs that are on TBS. Yeah. Oh. You're screwed. Well, what I did is I, I, figured, ball, I, figured, I figured it all out. And if I pay like Fios, who's coming in here, to give me the kind of pipe I need, which is 300 megabytes per second, although I can go 150 and be just fine uh, and do this show and service all my machines mm -hmm. at the same time. What's the what's the down and the up? The, the uh, same. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, if I do 150 up, it's 150 yeah, down. Yeah, the same. Yeah, oh. uh, but the fact is uh, that uh, uh, then I start buying all these different services. I buy the HBO, I buy the Showtime, I buy uh, Stars. If I were to get almost everything I have right now, uh, I would be saving at least 150 bucks a month. Wow. Hmm. You know, uh, I'm saving a couple of bucks because, uh, you know, I, I've got the Showtime, I've got the Hulu, uh, I've got the Sling, I've got the um, uh, uh, CBS and, uh, and, and, a, and a couple of other things. And I, and I don't notice it because some of them get charged to one card, some of them get charged to another card. It goes automatic and, you know, I, I don't see it. But uh, I'm, I'm much happier with this. I don't have any Chinese programming. I don't have any QVC. Uh, and um, I just got uh, stuff I watch. Yeah, well, I mean, the fact is that uh, one of the reasons I, I want to cut the cable is I, we are getting maybe, I don't know, a thousand different channels. Who knows? And most of them you never watch anyway. You know, 950 yeah. of them. Yeah, you don't watch 950 of them. And the rest of them you watch occasionally. Uh, all well, I care it, about... It makes you feel empowered. But in the beginning, you're going to... Uh, it's not as easy because you can't channel surf. You right. can't just sit there with the remote control and, like I used to, go from one channel to the next, to the next, to the next. And then, you know, you have this thing yeah, where you what go I back. Can do, what I can do with, like, uh, 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 YouTube... What I can do with Hulu is I don't have to do that. I can go to the shows I want, say record this, and then I can watch it on my own time yeah. instead of having, having to channel surf. Well, just about everything that's on, I can watch uh, on demand on Sling. Uh, uh, you know, the, all that stuff's yeah, on but, demand. Uh, when but you've got to watch their commercials. And also, you got to, yeah. well, secondly, you have to watch it the next day. With YouTube, uh, uh, because it's all live. It's well, happening. I have a bunch of live stuff. No, uh, no, you have a bunch of live stations like local news and so on, but you don't get uh, things like uh, TNT or TBS live. You get those uh, programs the next day. Really? I thought yeah. I did, but, they, you know, I don't notice it. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't notice yeah. that whether it's live. the next day to see this shit. Boo-hoo. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right. You know, and, and maybe in the beginning I did, you know, because I used to remember all, a certain all I show. Know is on that certain I, days. I think Sling is going to be out of business pretty soon because all the, all these people are doing it, you know, and they're doing it better. Yeah. Uh, well, and and um, the first it, one never survived. Even right? even one of the uh, a PlayStation yeah. has a thing called PlayStation View, which is something yeah. like a hundred stations for fifty bucks. You know. Yeah. Hey, Bob, you're dying there, aren't you? Need some water. I'll survive. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? You just get regular television, right, Bob? Have you ever thought about cutting the cord? Uh, we have cable. <clears throat> I don't watch TV that much, so yeah, doesn't matter to me. But I just noticed the BBC has now got a streaming service for like seven dollars a month, and it's all old, their older stuff. Yeah. Like the old Doctor Who's and stuff. Yeah. And for seven bucks a month, you can stream that on your computer. Yeah. The BBC channel is on Sling also. No, but that's the BBC channel. He's talking about a a pay service. <coughs> you know, which I'm sure. Yeah, this I is going to be all archived. Uh, you know, older shows that you can just basically watch on the Right, mm. right. Hey, I just had a search on Comcast. Google, Project Free TV. What? Google search. Yeah. Go on Google and type in the search bar, Project <laughs> Free TV. And what is that? A shit ton of TV shows, live action and non-live action. There like is cartoons, something. There's something. Family Guy. There's Simpsons, something that somebody guy. turned me on to. Then there's another extension and, I use. And it is, it, it is on, it's a Roku channel, but it's a private Roku channel. In other words, and anybody can start a Roku channel. It, but to get a Roku channel that is available through Roku, uh, you have to get that okay. But you can do a private one. And they, this is a private one. And they're like grabbing live TV from England. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I mean, That's it's got to be really illegal. But well, if there's cool. a YTD, like I, I've told you about before, uh, the last few minutes, there's also what I use as an extension, a Chrome extension, yeah. uh, FLV or FVD video downloader, where if you stream something from, say, Project Free TV or watch yeah. cartoon online, um, you can grab it using FLV or FVD <laughs> video downloader and just download it onto your hard drive and watch it whenever the well, fuck you feel like. Let me see. what What, what is that? Thing. I think it was put on here. Mm. Let me see what it's called. It's called XTV. Mm. Yeah, that Hulu uh, is. Uh, it says TV is basically. It's basically basic cable for cord cutters. Yeah, mm. uh, they have a 20, uh, 24 seven channels, uh, and you push there. I don't know who this guy is, but they're running like. Uh, I'll Let's tell you what the a, best a, a free TV theory. is. Put a freaking antenna on your roof. Yeah. <laughs> the quality is amazing. I've got one of those digital antennas, but I'm yeah. too far away from the signal, and I only get like two or three stations. Oh, uh, I get like 40. Go to Y-A-N-D-E-X dot com. That's the... Uh, Y-A-N-D-E-X. Yeah. Yandex. Yandex. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but for some reason they're running nothing but live programming from everywhere. <laughs> and, huh. and somebody's entrepreneurship. Somebody's going to get arrested. Let me. Put you know it that what? Way. If, uh, better not tell that Yande brown hair pie cocksucker over at uh, the FTC about this. He might come down on. Oh, oh wait a minute! It's from yeah, Russia, Kevin, Ukraine, Kevin, Kevin. Belarus, Kazakhstan, and Turkey. <laughs> So that, that's that's it, it, if you if you pull that up right on the bottom of the page it says yeah and Russia Ukraine Belarus Kazakhstan and Turkey I don't think that these guys are going to get in trouble I don't think Alex heard what I said <laughs> wait, 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 what were you going to say what were you saying Brian say it again Kevin, Kevin Kevin caught on real quick I said that uh, about the, what you were saying about the legality of what you were doing or yeah. what the way they were running that program yeah. Yandex or whatever it was yeah. you better not let that. Uh, what did I say? Brown skin, hair, hair pie, cocksucker over at the FTC. <laughs> <laughs> that Indian Punjabi motherfucker. Punjabi, take, yeah. Take notice, otherwise he might clamp down on you. I don't even know well, how to spell it. Like what? YouTube stuff. There's this Yandex. It's all YouTube stuff. Uh, because his last name is Pie, right? And I was like, okay. And he's a cocksucker. Because he's an asshole. Well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know something? As a gay person, I wouldn't call him a cocksucker because that should be a positive thing, not a negative thing. <laughs> uh, 
you I know. use words whenever I fucking feel like, especially if you're using these. If he says he's straight and you call, I him think a, I think shit eater would be <laughs> all onerous. Shit eating, douchebagging, dick licking. Uh, you know, I mean, how can I call somebody a cocksucker? <laughs> What's that? How can I call somebody who's a co- it's call like somebody, George Carlin? <laughs> how can I call somebody a cocksucker when, in fact, if I get my cock sucked, I like that person. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to get it sucked by him. Even if he were gay, that's the thing. Yeah, well, but but don't call him a cocksucker because that's a positive, a, a, a positive uh, attribution to him. Depending on what the guy looks like. Guy. <laughs> well, now you're. If yeah, he looks like Skeletor, I don't want him anywhere near my dick. Yeah, right. Keep that context, and you call somebody a fucker. You know what's that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It works both ways. Yeah. <laughs> But no. uh, uh, you know, I mean, I I I, I always felt I hate that, that son of a bitch that pie pussy. Well, because he thinks that because he's the head of the FCC, pie, now, whatever the fuck his name you, is. you know something. In order to pass anything in the FCC right now, there are only three of them on the FCC at this yeah, point. That's why I've said on Jack Bishop's program more so than on this uh, that uh, we need more co-equal branches of government, like the financial branch and the communication branch. Yeah. Well, what but, happens is they've got one liberal and two conservatives on the FCC right now. There's supposed to be five people on there, but they haven't appointed anybody else. And every time a new administration, a new presidential administration takes over, these people in the Treasury Department, these people in, in, in the FCC, they're subjected to their whims. So if Trump, as, he do, as he's done, as has W. Bush, as has even Obama, yeah. want to appoint a bunch of yes men and yes women, they are at their leisure to do well, so. Well, this they guy can. wants to do away with that's uh, bullshit. Wants to do away with uh, what's what's the thing on the internet? Uh, neutrality. Neutrality. Yeah, neutrality. Yeah, that's good. That's why I hate the cocksucker. That's why I yeah. call him these nasty uh, names. And, and they, he's uh, deserving of. Uh, and what was it they did the other day? There was something he came out with the other day, and I went, "This is insane." In you know, dick no, pie, lemon pie. I don't know what the fuck is. You know, but you know, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm <laughs> milking that joke. Rather, <laughs> rather than try and get rid of stuff, why not improve it? In other words, why get rid of Obamacare? <laughs> why not work to improve it and to make it workable? It's Somebody's called politics. Getting greased. It's called it's politics. Because it's called feelings got hurt. We yeah. got it rammed down our throat. So regardless of what's good for the country or not, we're going to repeal it and yeah. replace it with tr- something we're going to that that we're going to ram down their throat. And then when yeah. they get back in power, they're going to do the same thing because we've got a bunch of yeah. children running Congress. Rob, meanwhile, I think meanwhile, there was when just you're, some wait, basic. There were, uh, go ahead. Man. No, well, I'm just saying. Meanwhile, while you're playing these games, people are dying. Absolutely. Course, you know, because Absol- they're children. Aren't there, there some basic tenets of, of Obamacare that uh, 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 that is the ones that they really don't want, which is like uh, restricting the states and, uh, and and there's so many basic rules to Obamacare that they want to get rid of. That's why they're scrapping it, so that uh, because they want to turn the power back over to the no, state. No, but you don't have to scrap the whole program. You can <laughs> you can improve those things which are bad. Get rid of those things you think are not working and make it a better system. But no, you're throwing Obama, the baby out with the bathwater. That would give Obama some credit for something. Can't yeah, have if, that. We can't if give you the want, black man if you credit. Want less, if you want less government coming from the federal, uh, no, from, I don't. from Washington, well, I do. But if you okay, want less government yourself. coming from Washington, and then what you do is you turn those things over. That's, that's what... Um, uh, Reagan did. No, but Why every, if, every t- if every time, a Why new- not let's just have states, fifty states. Everybody does their own thing. Yeah. Why not just have That's the first Why do we need? Why do we need? Why do we need a federal government? Why do we need it? Just, just, just for the New York, military. Everybody. Ah, oh, fuck that. The first Continental Congress. That's what we tried. That Rob, remember? <laughs> well, by the we way, we, 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 we've been joined. There, we've, been jo- we've been joined by Tim. Neither were you, but apparently, <laughs> what we understand. One of the signers. It didn't work. We had fifty. We had thirteen different uh, countries, in, in essence, and not a single one of them wanted to cooperate. And Britain was uh, was sitting on the sidelines, jerking their dick and couldn't wait to come all over us unless, of course, we acted, which we did by having you, uh, the current type of government so, we have now. You're so visual. <laughs> I have to be. People like Phil there, they need a visual aid. Well, that's how Brian gets his exercise. <laughs> you know? Like a- Whoops. What, what happened? Oh, no. No, 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 no. 
Uh, no, uh, uh, John. Uh, John was trying to call me back. Hold on a second. Let me resume this call. Call failed. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me resume call. Oh, I lost all the people. What is this? This is not good. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, add the group. Uh, okay. Uh, help. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, Hello. Is everybody there? Yeah. Yeah, we got put on hold. Okay. What happened? Okay. I don't know. But John Rockwell, if you're trying to call, don't you try to call using the group. Okay. And uh, <laughs> Phil, you're frozen for some reason. Oh, I am. Okay, I'll. Uh, but, uh, there he is. Smile on your face. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It just. Yeah, it's a, that's that's a, this, in this digital day and age, and this where everybody's desensitizing. Yeah. You got to be as visual and as. You know, John Rockwell, you have to make it. You if you're can. listening, you have to make it a fresh call. You yeah. can't call back using the group. Okay. Is it still frozen. Huh? Yeah, I just hung up. It, it's still back. frozen, yeah, but. but you know, there we go. Well, no, let's try it again, Phil. Oh, well, uh, yeah. No, it's, uh, I, I, it shows the, there's no cross through it, but it's, and I see my uh, visual, but I. I uh, Am I, well, here comes John Rockwell. Okay, there we go now. John, see, when you call back, you have to call back originally. In other words, using uh, GabNet I, Live. I did, I did. It uh, Skype just, just quit on me. Um, so, no, no, but I'm saying when you tried to call back, you called back to the group, not to the uh, or the number. See, not, uh, I'm gonna, not I'm gonna call line. back. I didn't try to. I I went on contacts and just took the gabnet thing and called. Yes. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah. We're here now. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's. Yeah, now we'll see if Phil can call back. Here we go. Add to group. There we go. There you are, Phil. You can hear us. Ah, and yeah. there you are. Yeah. As my uncle would say, gab, uh, not gabnet. Well, Skype took a shit on us. Yes. Is that it? Okay. Uh, what, what, what did Stephen Pearl call it yesterday? Uh, called it, uh, oh, God, the shitty phone company? Something like that. It's it's something, uh, the cheap phone company. The cheap phone company, yeah. Um, um, Didn't make an acronym on SKYPE. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear what George Will said about our fine president today? No. I heard a little bit of that. Yeah. It was not nice. <laughs> Now, and he, for him, that was uh, George pretty Will, unusual, right? George Will is a conservative, yeah, you know, and and if there was ever a the if there was ever a critic of Obama, it was George Will. Well, today he uh, he came out and or I guess it was today, and said that uh, Trump is has a, a dangerous disability. Uh, this seems not to be a mere dis. This, this, this inclination, but a disability. Will writes in an opinion piece, it's not merely the result of an intellectual sloth, but of an unattrained mind bereft of information and married to stratospheric self-confidence. Wow. And what's that mean? Boy, he could it's fuck you with his words. words. Could, what, what, wait a minute, let me finish. So what? Let you me can't... finish, Phil. <laughs> Will cites a number of examples of Trump's apparent lack of understanding of the nuances of historical and current events, including the Civil War, the One China policy, and the nuclear triad. On the last subject, Will writes, as a candidate, Trump did not know that the nuclear triad is. Asked about it, he said, we have to be extremely vigilant and extremely careful when it comes to nuclear. Nuclear changes the whole ball game." Invited to elaborate, he said, I think, I think, for me, nuclear is just the power. The deviation is very, the, the devastation, rather, is very important to me. Yeah, <laughs> that's how he makes sense. Will concludes, Americans have placed vast military power at the discretion of this mind, a presidential discretion that is largely immune to restraint by the Madisonian system of institutional checks and balances. So it is up to the public to quarantine this presidency by ins insistingly communicating to its elective representative a steady rational fear of this man whose combination of impulsivity and credulity render him uniquely unfit to take the nation to into a military conflict so there yeah, wow. there's george Nicely will said yes and uh, probably he uh, trump heard it didn't understand a word <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sure. Well, what sure do you did. really feel? <laughs> Come on, George, tell us. <laughs> you know, the triads are a bunch of Chinese gangs, no, no, right? No, no, no. You know, you, no. you turn everything into triad. a joke rather than gangs. to make a comment on Tons. it. Is he wrong, Phil? Uh, I don't think that Trump uh, has surrounded himself with people that don't know what they're doing. I think that the people he surrounded himself with. Wait a minute. Are Wait, give a him minute. Good Wait a minute. He surrounded himself with a woman who makes dresses. <laughs> well, uh, addresses? Well, you, I thought uh, DeVos was. Uh, no, I'm not talking about DeVos. His wife. His no, wife? I'm not talking about his wife. Ivanka. Oh, oh Ivanka. All right. <clears throat> she, nice her, she and her husband Gerald Kushner. And what does he? What does he do for a living? Real estate. Real estate. Yeah. So you know, he's a real estate broker. Uh, I mean, these are the people. <laughs> these are the people who are, are advising him. Well, they advised him uh, during his uh, in his business as well, and he trusted. Well, wait them. a minute, that's different. This is the wow. country. Hey, yeah. Kushner been over has this. a lot of money he got from Israel in the yeah. form of loans. That's how he doubled his real estate holdings. Yeah, and he's got Mad Dog Mattis, and uh, you know I think that these guys are actually pretty smart, uh, and, and including Tillerson. And uh, hey, why, can't, why can't he get somebody for the army? So, he's, so far he's as having trouble getting an army. So far as I've been able to ascertain, Tillerson's a moron. Uh, yeah, he yeah. is. I mean, I, I think it, he's. Uh, I think he knows what he's doing. No, I don't think he has a single idea what diplomacy and, is all about. And he about. keeps the press at, at, at he, arms. He doesn't length. understand diplomacy. That's you know. a good idea. Keep I mean, the press you know, the only length. thing is that uh, what's his name? Our, our, the former nominee of the Republican Party, um, um, uh, McCain, Mc, no, or no, Romney. Romney. Romney oh. would have made a good Secretary of State. I mean, if you want to talk about somebody who knows the lay of the land and how to uh, do <clears> diplomacy <throat> and all of that, he would have been perfect for that job. Yep, probably. But uh, Trump asked him, asked Romney to uh, suck his dick. Yeah, well, he Romney asked Romney did, to come by. He still got screwed over. Yeah, he asked Romney to come by, and Romney thought, "Oh boy, he's going to offer me something," and then he didn't offer him hmm. dick. He did the Who same. Who do you think paid for the, lunch? He did the same thing to uh, what's his name, that black uh, talk show host. Uh, uh, yeah, Steve Harvey. Uh, Steve Harvey. He had him come by, and then didn't give him dick. And, yeah. But they had frog legs for dinner, which is uh, an homage to Pepe, the <laughs> green frog. Uh, who who paid for who paid for that lunch? The government. Uh, we did. Yeah. 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 All right. It's yeah. entertainment. The producers always pay. And when the Chinese guy came, uh, you know the Chinese prime minister, but they had the best chocolate cake ever. Yeah. 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 You gotta have the chocolate eat. cake when you come to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> did they did they say that they were going? They, they didn't have pie. To Mar-a-Lago. Oh, oh John, John, your your camera isn't on. Mine isn't. No, John Rockwell. Oh. oh, it isn't? No. It was. Okay, try it again. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Boom. There How's we that? go. They, there did we they go. say Come they were... Ah, what, what, what is that? <laughs> Wait a minute. What is that, Rob, that you're hanging in front of the camera? <clears throat> like a noose. No, it's just a wire. It's, 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 a, it's a... Um, it's a... It's, you know, a oh, wire a, for an iPhone. Oh, I'm uh, uh, just playing with the cat. Oh, I see. Okay. Playing with your pussy again. Huh? I, yeah, I, have, I have pussy jokes in the in mind there, you know. But I well, that's one thing you got to do. If, on a pussy joke. if you I'm tie right. that around the cat's neck, you can make cat soup or cat tea. Just depends <laughs> on how big a pot you stick them in. Right. Oh, cat that's not too. nice. We love pussy cats. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tim. So, what do you think of Tillerson? Fun. Well, if we tied it around well, your neck, we'd have one less. Bad Trump guy to ask, but what do you think of Tillerson? Uh, he, uh, Chauncey Gardner. I think he's just playing the part, and I think he's the star from Thank You for Smoking. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Did anybody see that movie? Yeah. I you heard, heard of, Thank uh, you Aaron Eckhart smoking? was in that. Mm. Rob Lowe. Yeah. You know, the, 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 uh, the secrets the tobacco companies kept from everybody. Yeah. All the backstory. But well, the Insider was a good movie, a more serious take on that issue. Uh, Tim, if yeah. you've seen that, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, but see, Tillerson had that fake uh, private email account where he pushed against global uh, warming and climate change and all that. Right. But I forget his. He had a strange name, yeah. and that stuff somehow got deleted, even though it was subpoenaed. You know, you know what I imagine about Trump is that his presidency. Is is kind of is being president. He's kind of like what he did when he was doing a TV show. Okay, 
in that people will tell him, okay, uh, it's time for you to say this, and it's time for you to say that, and okay, everybody quiet on the set. I mean, basically, he just knows how to be pushed in the right direction and then being told to say something. It doesn't seem like he's actually sitting there and saying, God damn it, I'm the president, I'm going to make some decisions around here. He's like the guy from the Mary Tyler Moore show. Yeah, Murray. yeah, yeah, but I mean, Baxter, TV, yeah. you know, TV people, listen, when I was working TV, uh, basically you're just, uh, you're, you're a prop more than anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, no that's matter why, how talented that's why, you, ben, that's why Ben Carson couldn't be president, because they had surgeons say, you could be a good surgeon and be smart, but you're a technician. That doesn't mean you can run anything else in life. Right, right. And uh, so it's a, it's a specialty, but it's, it doesn't make you smart. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's almost any kind of profession. Uh, absolutely, you could you you could uh, consider that as uh, not a good manager, or or an excellent manager. And I think part of being the president is you got to be a good manager. But he and was never a good manager. He was I don't think particularly. It's much more difficult <clears throat> to manage with. Let's call it millions and millions of people who work for you. And you know? it's not even just that. The, if, when you're a manager for a company, if when my manager tells me this, to do something, unless it's unethical, I'm bound by my job to get it done. But in our government, and in any government really, that's not the case. They don't what have to now? do what the president says. They, they have watchers at all the agencies. They have stationed people reporting directly to the White House. It's the, uh, the uh, SS or Anastasia. I don't know what you want to call it, but they have people that watch what's going on inside, inside the agencies. They well, use nothing surprises me. Nothing surprises me about Trump and, and the kind of crap and that's he, going on. He wants to know everything. He's a micromanager. What, what do you think about uh, Yates' testimony that the White House knew about Flynn two or three weeks earlier? And, and even gave him a whole profile on the Russian ambassador and how he worked for the KGB or the FSB. That um, just came out she, this evening. Was she fired because she refused to follow Trump's directive on uh, the uh, <laughs> illegal aliens? Or, uh, yeah. The, the, uh, yeah. Yes, so, she failed to follow the law that was shot down by the judges, and I think she should run the, uh, the uh, special investigation uh, yeah, independent that, investigation of the Trump-Russia connection. Well, that's that's why they, they, that. they fired her over that, not over the fact that uh, she had given information to the Trump administration uh, on um, uh, Flynn. Uh, so, because uh, you know, it makes it some some. I don't know. I know, but but the, the White House said they act like they didn't know anything. They even had them brief him, uh, did an individual brief for him, just. To all the background on the Russian ambassador, and, and um, it, they were aware that there was yeah. connections there well, me, and warned him to stay away from him. Yeah, but he, he lied. Flynn, when asked, lied to the vice president, and so when they... when, no, when no, they but I'm talking the timeline other. doesn't match up with what the White House timeline. Well, yeah, but timeline the, doesn't match now, so they're going to have to resolve that. Let me, let me ask you this, Phil. Um, do you honestly believe... In fact, I'll ask this of everybody on the panel, that Donald Trump is actually running the White House? Yes. No. It's, it's Jared Kirshner. Uh, really. How about you, Jeff? Do you think he's running the White House? I don't think. I can't believe it, he's that, that he would do that. And, and well, you know, I don't think he, his natural approach is to get other people to do the work. Uh, yeah, I think he's running it because I don't think he has an ego to let somebody else run it. But I think what he does is he he hire, he gets people around him that he trusts, and then they they know how to make things sound like they're his idea. Yeah, you know, I I just I really believe that because you're right. I don't think he has the brains to run anything. But I also think that he, he likes to be surrounded well, by people. I, I don't think it's a question of brains. I I think he does not have the uh, attention span. Yeah, okay, yeah, he that's does a good both. And, and and this has been talked about, even you know, coming stuff coming out of the White House that his attention span is terrible. Yeah, that if he if you don't hand it to him on a three by five card, he just doesn't even absorb it. 
Did you see what he said last night about Australia having the best health care system? Yeah. A lot better yes. than ours. And they have single payer, man. Yeah. 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 The, guy, the guy has no brains. That what, is what, not anybody that's intelligent. That but he, can't he stay told, with the program. But what he did was he came back and he said it was, uh, he clarified. Yeah, he came he said back after he back no Yeah, but do you know why he said it? He couldn't remember the guy's name. Who, Obama or Turnbull? Turnbull. Turnbull. Yeah. So he started just kept rattling stuff off. Uh, I think the guy might have had good intentions, but I've seen a couple articles recently where everybody, if you want him to do something, previous is not running a thing. Steve Bannon is putting his little poster board up, but uh, it's it's Jared Kushner who's that's the only one Trump trusts. And Kushner's smart. But he's not experienced enough. Yeah, but you areas. see, here it, it, it is something that was said uh, 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 coming up to the election uh, by the guy who's a writer at the New York Times. I'm trying to remember his name right now. Um, but he said that the, the trouble with Trump is is that Trump is nothing but an empty vessel that the Republicans are waiting to fill. <clears throat> you know, and I think that's true. I mean, I think that from a political standpoint. Uh, Trump has all is now and has always been an agnostic. You know, it's a and, tool. Hmm? It's a tool. He's, he's a, a tool. He's a tool. Is basically what he is. And did you see what the Wall Street Journal said yesterday about Kushner? Well, now the Wall Street Journal, right wing, run by Rupert Murdoch. Go ahead. He's uh, he's in, currently in business with Goldman Sachs, the billionaires George Soros and Peter Thiel. Boy, there's two extremes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Too much business stuff going on, and there's a lot of there's Jerry's borrowed a lot of money, maybe uh, almost not as much as Trump, but they rely on improving their business brand, or they would have been bankrupt. He couldn't divest because his net worth would not have been enough. He couldn't. Try, he had too much debt. You know, he 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 tries to make you feel as though when he meets with these world leaders that oh they got along great and uh, yeah. we're we're having a great relationship here. How, how many of them do you feel walk away and go, <laughs> boy, he was a tool? Oh, look at look at look at uh, Germany. Uh, what's Angela her name? Merkel. Yeah. yeah, wasn't exactly. Yeah, thrilled. she looked at him and went, "What the." Fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I mean, do you think the Chinese Thanks prime minister you. really likes Donald Trump? Does Donald Trump think he's going to be able to win these people over with his uh, his uh, what was what, his, his? They don't get chocolate art, cake from art, China art, like they do at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, art of the deal, you yeah. know. Hey, 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 hey uh, John Rock. Wait a minute, John Rockwell yeah. has his hand up. Let okay, me go, go ahead. Let me go. To John. I think if, if you want to really hear Trump's ideas on things you gotta watch his tweets in the middle of the night those are the thing those tweets come yeah. out and the staff is like holy crap what did he say this time yeah. i mean they, they're always having well, to, he isn't tweeting to, as much to, as to clarify yeah. those it's been a while tweets though in the middle of every he, how he yeah. hasn't well i think people are finally saying donald you know cut down a little on the tweets uh, it's really no, hard to explain some of your weird being too honest, here. Donald. Uh, well now here, here i think here, that's here. him really saying what he is worried about hey, what hey, he thinks is right. Here, here's an interesting thing. People are telling well, here's, him. Here's an interesting I, thing, though. I have another oh. theory on those tweets. Yeah. Mm. I think it's Pence going in there when Trump's sleeping type, <laughs> and making the tweets crazier and crazier, <laughs> knowing eventually he'll be running the place. Okay. okay. I think it's a comedy skit. Anyway, Machiavellian. Uh, it's a Pence plot. <laughs> yeah. Who pool. do you guys. Oh, he's smart. He's much smarter. Here, okay, now can I talk? Okay. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, there has been the first campaign ad for the for the 2020 election. A what? Yes, the first campaign ad. And Hillary? it was and it, not no not <laughs> Donald Trump. It has to be Donald Trump. Trump. Yeah, the one they Donald put out Trump. Days ago. And they he came out with a an ad called the first 100 days. And by the way, it ends with him saying. Uh, and this is, you know, this is uh, what is what do they always say? I approve uh, this message. Appro I, I, I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. So it's officially a campaign ad. Are you ready for that? Boy. Anyway, mm -hmm. the ad has been rejected by several news outfits. <laughs> the spot reportedly includes a fake news banner appearing over the faces of well-known anchors. A stance by networks has prompted a PR war between the broadcasters and the Trump camp. Um, they quote the statement, 
from La La Lara Trump, the daughter-in-law of Donald Trump and a campaign consultant, saying, apparently the mainstream media are champions of the First Amendment only when it serves their own political views. The statement adds, faced with an ad that does not fit their based, uh, their biased narrative, this is a very small print I'm reading here, CNN, ABC, CBS, and NBC have all chosen to block our ad. This is an unprecedented act of censorship in America and should be of concern to every freedom-loving citizen. Uh, 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 THR, I don't know what THR is, I guess... I don't know. But anyway, broadcast networks have maintained this banner was removed. And if if the banner is removed, it, the ad will run. The report quotes NBC Universal spokesperson saying today, consistent with our policies, we have agreed to accept the ad if the an, an accurate graphic, which refers to journalists as fake news, is corrected. Uh, what do you guys think? Good for them. Good for them for, for rejecting it. Yeah. I think they should run it. Well, I think they said they will run it if they take their they fake will. news banner off the faces of the anchors in the ad. They should run gonna... it. They should run both versions. I'm I'm questioning whether they should have to come under the same scrutiny that they would during an official election as to accepting ads or not accepting ads. True. You know, I think it's a little early to say this is a political ad for 2020. I, but I'm it, not it, surprised, there, though, that there... it would come out this early. Huh? Why do I say that? I'm not surprised because every election cycle, if things start earlier and earlier yeah, but and this things is... get more expensive and more expensive. How so... do you run when you haven't done anything? you got 100 days of signing <laughs> a ton of legislation that meant nothing. Uh, executive orders, That's not even legislation. Executive orders, thank you. He has done exactly. He Let got he got the Republican the thing pushed to Congress. Yep. He got a. Uh, and there's so nothing yet discussion. happened to begin None with. He didn't he didn't, he, he didn't get it pushed through Congress. Uh, what's his name? The the uh, Speaker of the House got it pushed. Paul Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Paul Ryan got it pushed through. It was his plan anyway? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't celebrate when you get to the fifty yard line, though. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That was a little weird. He's at the thirty yard line. And by having the wrong to side the, of the field. Uh, Whatever happened to the immigration thing? Did, uh, did, did is that enforced? He has not done a single thing with him, basically There's with immigration. In fact, more people were turned away in the same period of time by Barack Obama than have been turned away because of Trump. Well, they're also claiming uh, victory because people aren't even trying to get in because they're afraid that they're going to get sent back. Good. Well, you can't, well, which, you but, which is fine. That's a good way to do it, but, as far as I'm But you I'm can't concerned. take credit. You can't take credit for that. But you can't. The problem, well, Alex. Why not? What? The people that the people crunching the numbers work for Trump. They can shave those numbers a little bit one way or the other. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I wouldn't necessarily trust them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, not, not that they can, not a lot, but they can shave them <laughs> enough. Change the internal rules, and we're not going to we're going to take the average here instead of here. It's very, very easy to, to manipulate. It's just an art. It's an art, but you can do it. I don't know about your side of the country out there, but the, we we're hearing a lot more about ICE and you know illegal aliens. We've got Dreamers on the on the news now. It just seems like I never heard that before, and now we're hearing a lot more, at least over here on the West Coast, and probably because we're closer to Mexico. But yeah, you have a they're ton going of after Mexicans. the easy ones. They're going after easy ones to get the numbers up. They're not going after the criminals and the hard ones. Well, yeah, but they're you know you got these sanctuary cities like Santa Cruz. They they had a raid over there, and they insisted that there was no uh, nothing to do with immigration. Yet they riled up. A, you you heard you probably heard about it, Phil, and they riled up a whole bunch of guys, you know, saying that they were you know, gang members and that all that other stuff. And, and all? they ended up walking, I believe. I don't I don't remember, but uh, what because the sanctuary say? city. Yeah, what did Guy Falk say? Uh, when, else, when is Guy Falk's day? When do we celebrate Guy Falk? Like in November, I think, right? Can you, that's can you right. Remember Your November. They'll probably have a March that day. Federal prosecutors, ready for this? Uh -oh. Are looking into whether Fox News Channel and its parent company <laughs> tried to disguise disguise. <laughs> $3.15 million payment to a former employee who said she had a 20-year affair with the network's former chairman, Roger Ailes, according to people involved with the investigation. Yeah. 
The investigators in the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York have focused on a payment to Lori Lung, former Fox Booker and event planner who left the company in 2011 with a seven-figure severance package. Not bad. All she needs to do is get her pussy sandblasted. She, like, <laughs> she probably did by Roger Ailes. <laughs> uh, Lund later claimed that uh, she had engaged it. in a consensual but mentally abusive relationship with Ailes and that several of his lieutenants facilitated the assignations, uh, who facilitated the assignations, were aware of his alleged mistreatment of her. Well, she well, was well. one of the first ones that I that they started talking about. There were all sorts of articles in the Daily News about her even before Megyn Kelly or some of the other, you know, now Megyn, mm -hmm. whoever, the other famous, more famous Tatanos. people. But she was behind the scenes. She wasn't a big, mm -hmm. you know, front front of the camera, whatever sort of person. Well, she was a booker. Tatanos or something like that that was the first one to come forward. Yeah, that was, yeah, I can't remember, but it was something. Well, you know, if it was mutually consensual, yeah, then twenty I, years, and she says so. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, twenty years. Then would, why did she need a seven-figure buyout? Well, no, that's what I, what I'm questioning. Why three point five million dollar buyout? Yeah, you know, somebody wanted her to keep her mouth shut. Is what right. they wanted. Consensual or or not, they wanted to. Yeah, I mean. Maybe she, was she keep, wanted to keep her job. Yeah, that's the way she well, thought no, she but, had no, to do it. No, but she was leaving. She was leaving. Oh, and damn, she yeah, left right, with right, the yeah. severance package. Now, for, the for years, a person yeah. who's a booker, $3.5 million is not what we call a golden parachute in, for that kind of job. Isn't you know, maybe they, give a you a, maybe, maybe they give you $15,000 and, and yeah. give you a watch as you walk out the door. I think 15000 is a lot. You don't usually get anything. Well, I got a week's, see, a what, week's pay. What was my severance package? Uh, they paid me for 16 weeks. Yeah, but you were talent. Yeah. A booker is going to get But 16 like weeks that. severance for all the years I worked with them? You know, what a cheap fucking outfit I worked for. You know, and I was told, I was told as I, as I, uh, uh, you weren't uh, fucking Mel Carmison. Well, no, Mel, Mel, Mel was long gone. Oh, okay. Uh, that's one of the reasons I wasn't there. I'm not there any longer. Uh, Mel liked me, but the thing is that, uh, uh, when I was leaving, they said, hey, you're, you're going to get 16 weeks severance, but you won't get it. You ready for this? Unless you sign this, uh, this thing saying that you won't sue us for age discrimination yeah that's uh, typical that that happens, happens to me. yeah but i mean i and i that looked at him and i said just sue. the mere fact that you want me to sign it but you don't want uh, uh uh my producer to sign it who they were also firing um seems to say to me that that is sexist in and of itself ages well, certainly they can't hold that over uh, you. ages uh, rather I mean. yeah ages, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they 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 can't they can't make that stand up. If you would have uh, if you would have fought it, even though you signed it, oh, it would, would be called uh, illegal every, in the court of law. Every company yeah. I've ever been let go from that's given me a severance has made me sign something like that, and yeah. and it's never been my fault because if it's your fault, they don't give you a nickel, right? Hey, we're going in another direction. They tap you on the shoulder, come into our office, and they put this contract in front of you, and they say. Look, we're going in another direction. We'll give you a recommendation. It's got nothing to do with your work, but we're we we are you know we're parting ways here. This is the package we're offering you. Yeah. This is how yeah. much we'll pay you. <laughs> However, you got to make sure that you you sign this. If you don't sign it, then you can sue or do whatever you want to do. But you're not getting uh, the, the sure. All bets money. are off. Yeah. yeah. Right. All all so, bets are off. Exactly. That's, that's pretty standard. Isn't it nice yeah. that Brian can do mime now on this show and people will actually see it and laugh? Yeah, <laughs> you know. that's what it is. You know, shake you with one hand and look for ways to fuck you and stab you in the well, back. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I, I just yep, said that's... to them, I said, saying to me that I have to sign something that says I won't sue for uh, for age discrimination <laughs> uh, and, and not asking my producer to do the same thing, who's a much younger person, I said, that in of itself is ageist, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, yeah. I said, I'll sign it because I want my 16-week severance because it was considerable, you know. Uh, but I, I, you know, I, I, and I figured at the time if I wanted to sue him, I could do it anyway. It, it doesn't deprive me of the right. You know? yeah. Jeff, you've been quiet. Anything to say since we've only got about a minute left? Well, here? I, I can remember getting fired one time, and and uh, I, I told the guy, I said, you know, this offer is not enough. I want more before I'm going to leave. 
and I won't leave the building otherwise. And what did they, <laughs> and they, and did they the get guy back, went up. back upstairs and said, What's, what are we going to do? He's not he, agreeing he, with the money. He's not agreeing with the money. Right. So they came down and gave me more money. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Got yeah, a fucking cock sucking bid that the uh, manager, the boss, head honcho of the place, has to forego a half or most of his second bonus money to, uh, you know, compensate you more for leaving there, Jeff. Yeah. Anyway, hey, that's about it, huh? We've uh, we've had a this has been a good one tonight. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. Bob Eber, thank you. Love hearing from you. Rob, great job as usual. Uh, John, glad the, uh, the the Skype is almost working for you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It only, only only knocked me off once. Yeah, but Phil Meyer, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Jeff Stein, the the wonderful and uh, miming uh, Brian Ludwig, and of course Tim, who really knows more than all of us put together. Uh, thank yeah. you so much. I really appreciate the uh, the calls tonight and the program. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Anyway, uh, that's it. I got to get rid of the. Let me get rid of Skype here. Uh, because the next guys have to use it. I always say that every night, but i got to tell you why. I'm not paying attention to you right now, and I'm paying attention to that. Hey, listen, I want to tell you that I have uh, really enjoyed having you here, and uh, uh, we want you back here again uh, next Tuesday. In the meantime, we got uh, Jack and Amy next. They're here with the uh, wonderful uh, uh, intersection, and then after that, Connections. Uh, coming to you from Florida, I think, somewhere like that. In the meantime, I'll see you Tuesday night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Night, everybody. <laughs>